Hello from Blues Domino. Got the new 2016 Fender Telecaster Elite Thin Line in natural finish. Thing is sure pretty. And today it's time to put a set of strings on this bad boy. Still have the factory strings. Not quite sure what they have. Some kind of a proprietary uh, Fender string. I don't know if it's a 10 or feels more like a 9 probably. I think is what they ship with. Um, you know, somebody can put in the comments what it is. I'm sure you all know. I don't, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go through a chord progression in uh, all of the different pickup settings. And we'll restring it and come back and do the same thing. See if you can catch any difference in tone. So we'll restring it and check it out. All right, and we're back. So you can hear it's got uh, a little boost in, I think, volume. And uh, sustain is good, too. I think it uh, sounds a little bit more lively. Um, of course, again, uh, we're plugged into the bass breaker 45-212 combo amp. Uh, the guitar is jacked into the both channel, and uh, that means I've got the normal and bright channel going. Don't have a reverb pedal plugged into it. It's just straight in from the guitar to the amp, and recording this on an iPhone 6. Just sitting in the old music room at East Heights Studios. It's uh, where all the magic happens. So we'll go through the little chord progression here and the different pickup selections and uh, let you see what you think as far as the difference in sound is concerned. And of course, we're going to start at the, uh, you know, the neck pickup and then we'll go to both pickups and then we'll go to the uh, bridge pickup and then we'll zip back up to the neck and engage the S1 switch and so on, just like we did in the... Uh, other factory strings and uh, let you have a listen so here we go <laughs> So there you go. Um, I think the thing sounds best and good and hard and meaty in that S1 switch with the uh, middle selection.
know this guitar a little bit, um, you know, we've got the, I guess the, what do they call it, the grease bucket circuit. So you can uh, turn your tone all the way up into that clicked level, and it's like it bypasses the tone control, so you get straight out from the pickups. So that's kind of a cool deal. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, you know, uh, thank you again for taking a look at the video. I uh, sure do appreciate it. You're welcome to leave any comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. I don't know what other kind of strings you guys like to put on your axes. I've got a couple of go-tos, and I'm starting to really like the Didaro NYXLs, uh, just for the longevity and playability that they have. Um, I know I like the... The chromes, the warm and mellow, because of the way the flat wound strings feel. And if I could get somewhere in between this NYXL, um, you know, for longevity and tone and playability with a little bit of that flat wound thing, I think we'd be on to something. So uh, until that comes out, this is what we're going to play with. So hope you guys have a great one and uh, keep on picking and enjoy and i think it's got a little bit more sparkly aliveness to it it's um, definitely got a boost in volume from the stock strings that were on there sure i'm not a gearhead as much as you'd like me to be mm -hmm.